This video is for atheists mainly, uh, particularly atheists that that think that atheism has to be a po uh, an active stance uh, that you have to reject a belief. Um, the reason I'm doing this uh, is an argument back and forth with the Zombie Picture Show, and uh, I was reading a, an article by Paul uh, Clear. Well, I've been reading a lot of stuff, so uh, I'm probably going to get a lot wrong because I've read a lot of books and or a lot of material in a short amount of time. And uh, I, I wanted to go over a few things. And this this uh, uh, varieties of atheists atheist uh, atheist experience by Paul uh, kind of goes over what I I think uh, uh, some of the problems are basically. Um, he states, uh, Nigel puts it uh, as follows in his uh, Defense of Atheism, 1957, I shall understand by atheism a critique and denial of the major claims of all varieties of theism. And automatically, uh, I, 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 I'm going to come back to that in a second. And, and Paul also kind of goes into... Um, uh, different stances. Uh, he talks about if atheism was a lack of belief, uh, how could you defend that position um, uh, just by a lack of belief alone? Um, uh, where's the proof uh, if, if it's just a lack of belief or something like that? And uh, I'll, I'll get back to that in a sec. Uh, first, theism, defined by uh, dictionary.com, the belief uh, in one God as the creator, ruler of the universe, da, 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 belief in the existence of gods or gods, God or gods, um, uh, opposed to atheism, um, as opposed to, well, they say opposed to atheism. atheism. Um, that's, I, I'm not really concerned with what we're going to define God. Uh, the main concern is the belief in that God. Um, and that's what I'm going to focus on. The belief in one God. Uh, I'm going to just say the belief in God to summarize. Uh, the belief in the existence. Uh, I'm, not even going to, I'm not even going to go into that. I'm going to just call, say the belief in God. I'm not going to go into uh, all, all those details. I'm going to focus on belief. Um, in... Douglas Harper's uh, 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 etymology online, uh, the etymology of atheism is uh, uh, from Greek, atheos uh, means without God. Uh, and theism is from theos, which means God. So uh, by that, you can get a few different definitions out of that, uh, either without uh, belief in the existence of of God, or I, I was going to summarize, right? Without belief in God, or uh, not, uh, some say that you can, uh, that can be a neg uh, negative, uh, no belief uh, in God, and also if you move it around, it could be belief in no God, which would be the affirmative also. Um, but that... It, well, that is, that, that is important, uh, but it's not as important. Uh, but basically, the etymology, which isn't as important, is would be some something around without the belief or uh, belief in God. I'm summarizing, without the belief in God. Um, first off. Uh, I, before I go into the rest of this, I want to state that uh, the reason I was pointing out that belief is important. Uh, uh, what was that other guy's name? Uh, Paul Cloutier, whatever. Uh, he he pointed out uh, how one stance, uh, the the stance itself, didn't have the proof, um, and as though how could or 
why would you take this belief without the proof or something like that? Um, and uh, there was other uh, issues. Uh, there was the uh, atheism is a, a critique by uh, Nagal, uh, a critique and a denial of the claims. Now, both of those have added something to the definition. One of them added a critique, you know, and the denial, I, I can kind of get that. I can kind of get that. I can kind of get that from if you, from the etymology, sorry about repeating, I'm, I'm uh, fuzzy right now. Um, from the etymology, if you, uh, you can get that denial from that. But the critique part is, is an addition. So uh, basically, you, you critique this idea, and then you uh, remove this idea, or remove this belief from yourself. Uh, I know that's not exactly the, the best wording in the world. Um, maybe I'm, I'm a little wrong, but am I right so far? And probably not. Let me know. And uh, how Paul was putting it also, it's, it's not, def it's not uh, enough proof or something uh, in just the lack of belief. And that is also adding another factor to it. It, it has nothing to do with provability. Uh, the, the belief itself. Now, obviously, one of those might be more logically correct, but even then, uh, belief is not, has nothing to do with whether or not it's provable. It's belief. It's, it's what you see is true. Now, as logical beings, obviously, or let me rephrase that, logical beings, of course, would, would need proof. So, it, it doesn't, it, it, it makes sense to say that, as a, and also, uh, I think Nigel, was it Nigel? Yeah, Nigel said it, but I, I don't have the link for that said somewhere about a, a philo uh, uh, atheist philosophers uh, and goes into... Uh, maybe I shouldn't even bring that up since I don't have the link. Uh, eesh. Yeah, I'm not going to bring it up. Um, but he talks... Uh, he, he does talk about atheist philosophers and I'm not even going to go into that, so... But it does add another element. Um, uh, I'm just going to talk about this one. The element is the critique. That's another element. It has the critique of the the claim has nothing to do with the belief. Uh, let's say oh, I'm not even going to change the definition. Basically, the atheism from a, from the get go from the, the basic definition, I shouldn't say from the get-go, from the basic definition is yeah, if the without or the not is put in the front, is basically the negation of theist. It's without the belief in God or it's just not theism, basically. Uh, no belief in a God. And, but it has to do with belief. So it's not critique and then have no belief. It's not make sure you have proof and then have no belief. It's about belief. How you get to that belief is outside of that. And maybe skeptical atheism or some other type of atheism, if you want to add something to it, but atheism in general is about the belief, just like theism in general is just about the belief. Not whether or not it's defensible. It's about believing. It's about holding it as true. So, is it... Is it fair to add 
tack something else on there so with and and change the entire definition the 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 wide definition uh because most people have to come to that now i know there's more to this so i'm uh, i'm not i'm not done yet i'm just saying that those uh those two um now uh michael martin which uh actually most of these people i think you've already heard of actually you probably read all of this uh, so you probably already have an argument to this, so I'm waiting for it. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll be waiting for it. Uh, Michael Martin in the Cambridge Companion to Atheism, uh, 2007, uh, in the very first page, before he gets into the, 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 the chapter stuff, uh, I guess this is the introduction, I can't quite remember. Uh, anyway, he says, uh, from this standpoint, and this is after he... I I didn't quote it. Uh, From this standpoint, an atheist is someone without a belief in God. He or she is not, uh, he or she need not be someone who believes that God does not exist. And I think he gave that definition right after the etymology, uh, and that's why I didn't put a note, because I just had the etymology up there. Um, And he does point out in his notes uh, what Edward said, uh, Edwards said, and the uh, Encyclopedia of uh, Philosophy, which I misspelled, that uh, it's important to distinguish this negative atheism from Edward's sense of atheism in Encyclopedia of Philosophy. So, so he did note Edwards, and a lot of people quote Edwards. So, of course, of course, it's important to note it. Um, so we have this. Uh, now this other uh, word that they tack on called a- negative atheism, which is, uh, which would basically be that that definition I started just just being without, um, and uh, quoting a few websites that that uh, deal with a lot of atheists. Now I I know this is just, but but remember this is also usage too. Language is a little bit more complicated than just straight logic, unfortunately. Uh, so we're we're not we're not always dealing with strict definition. If if we're talking about just philosophy, then well, even in just philosophy, we're still going to have to 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 make sure that we're we're clear on what we're talking about if we're strictly talk, talking about philosophy. So regardless, we're going to have to clarify ourselves. Uh, Either way, this is about strict common usage and what it should mean in common common usage. The Brights, uh, I know the Brights, uh, say, of course, where's my quote? Okay, of course a great many Brights are atheists by definition, e.g. they are without belief in any gods. So they define atheist as without belief in any gods. American atheists define atheism as a lack of belief in a deity, and they add a bunch of other stuff on there that that they say it implies. Uh, Daniel Dennett, breaking the spell religion uh, as a natural phenomenon, uh, 2006, uh, by definition, one would think theists believe in God. Atheism is the negation of theism after all. So uh, Daniel shows that atheism is the negation of theism, not theism. Uh, David Mills, Atheist Universe, the thinking person's answer to fundamental uh, to Christian fundamental uh, fundamentalism, uh, 2006. Essentially, an atheist is a person who rejects the concept of God. So there's the the uh, active stance, Uh, and I didn't quote everything because it was really long. Uh, uh, Oh, he goes into the etymology. Uh, The derivative for uh, for this becomes atheist and simply means without God. Just as asexual reproductive uh, reproduction means reproduction without sex. Uh, This is an interview that he's doing. Yeah, it's an interview that he's doing with a. Uh, uh, he recorded an interview in his book, and 
uh, he starts off saying that atheism is a person who rejects the concept of God and then goes into the etymology and then states that 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 it means the word itself means without God is an ace, just like asexual repro reproduction means reproduction without sex. Let's move on from that. Good gracious. Okay. Stan uh, okay. Uh, basically, uh, I think, uh, you know, some of these authors do define it as that, but in their explanations of atheism, when they're trying to explain it, they give a slightly different definition, which is what I'm going to read. Um, and and uh, the ones that that gave explicit definitions that were different, or some of these also don't give definitions at all, so you have to take from the words, uh, were the ones I just read, uh, and and David Miles gave uh, gave that as the uh, the definition when he was in the interview. Okay, Sam Harris, Letter to a Christian Nation in 2006. Said on page 17, uh, an entire, uh, the entirety of atheism is contained in this response. Uh, atheism is not a philosophy, and it is not, oh, um, there's no and. It is not even a view of the world. It is simply an admission, admission of the obvious. And I, he says it's an admission. But, well, that, that part's added, obviously. In fact, atheism is a term that should not even exist. No one needs to identify himself as a non-astrologer, non-alchemist. We do not have words for people that doubt Elvis is alive or that aliens traverse galaxies uh, only to middle-less ranchers uh, and their cattle. Um, now, yeah, he put it as the uh, admission of the obvious. So the admission would be an active stance. But then he points out that... The term shouldn't exist. Uh, shouldn't even exist. Uh, no one should identify themselves as a non-astrologer. Yeah, you know, and that's that's what I was trying to point out uh, earlier when I was talking to you. Uh, now I'm talking to. I I forgot who I'm talking to. Zombie picture show. Obviously, I'm talking to other atheists too. If you want to chime in, especially if you disagree. Um, but. Atheism is basically non-theism, and that's what he's saying. He's saying nobody needs to identify themselves as a non-astrologer, pointing out that atheism is, is like non-theism. And what is I going to say about that? Oh, so basically, we, we shouldn't have to point it out. It's, it, it is a lack of, of a belief in God. So we shouldn't have to point it out. The problem is, is obviously that that theists are the majority, a huge majority. So, and hopefully not in the future. So in the future, hopefully we can go back to just being normal. But he equates it with being normal. And if if theism was just a little cult, then we wouldn't even identify ourselves as atheists. Everybody would just be normal. So he kind of equates it with that. So I, I'm, I know you probably disagree. I'm, I'm going to continue. Uh, Arthur Diadamo, Science Without Bonds, uh, a synth, uh, Synthesis of Science, Religion, Mysticism, I'll put links in the underbar, um, said the spread of science is often accompanied by lessening of religion, uh, by a lessening of religious belief. If you will, by the conversion of the only religion... Uh, to the only religion which which science, however, indirectly promotes, de facto atheism. An atheism in practice, if not in theory. So, if, you know, I, it just kind of points it out. Okay, maybe I shouldn't even put that one in there. Uh, George H. Smith, defining atheism. Uh, wait, that's the one I wanted to stop at. Yeah. Okay, George H. Smith, uh, in defining atheism uh, from his 1990 book, uh, he basically goes, and this is the one I want you to read, uh, when I was going through trying to find um, 
uh, resources, uh, trying to read through it and make sure that I was uh, uh, trying not to present it incorrectly, uh, he kind of already uh, presents exactly what I've been trying to present. And uh, they like to point out in the in, 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 uh, Wikipedia and other places the quote by Nagal from 1957. But like I, what I'm trying to say is that Nagal adds extra stuff to the definition. So if you're going to add extra stuff to the definition of just atheism, then you're going to have to add another word. Uh, like skeptical atheism or something. Yeah, obviously, you 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 need to logically defend your position, but the position itself, the the belief, the thing that you're holding true, doesn't have to be uh, defensible. It doesn't have to be true. You know, and. Well, that's the theism part. The lacking of it, you know, e even the rejection of it. It doesn't have to be logically rejected. It could be rejected without a logical step. It doesn't. It doesn't need the proof. That's an extra thing. It's you. You're going to need it uh, when when you're trying to defend yourself. What's better or what's more logical? But the belief itself, or the lack of belief doesn't uh, doesn't need proof itself in and of itself because it is just a belief or the belief not being there I think I said it wrong in the beginning I think I just said belief at the beginning but the belief or the lack of belief in and of itself it doesn't require that it's just there or it's not And that part maybe maybe we'll have a contention on. Uh, George H. Smith, which is the one I want you to read, uh, if you can read the whole article, it's it's a, a piece from his book, uh, 1990 book, Atheism and Rand and Other Heresies. I, I found a link of it online. Uh, Defining Atheism. According to this reasoning, one who denies God's existence is a legitimate atheist, but he does subscribes to a particular species of atheism. If, however, we construe atheism as the denial of God's existence, then the person who merely lacks a, a theistic belief is not a real atheist, but an imposter. This is an exclusion by definition. It seems to me, uh, this exclusion by definition, it seems to me, is ingracious and it shows uh, ignorance of, what's impo of what important atheists have argued for many years. And he does cite a lot of people as well. Now, I, I wouldn't have, I, I don't think I would have worded it the way he worded it, but he's he gives the idea of what I was trying to say uh, much more eloquently than I could uh, say it because I'm not exactly the most eloquent of person, people. Um, this thing's getting very long. But basically, uh, lack of belief or belief doesn't require uh, that you critique. And when you add that on, now I, I, I understand you 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 want to make sure people that get into atheism think think about it. But that's not a requirement for somebody to hold something true or not hold something true. Or just not believe. So so it, it, it's I'm not sure how else to put that it's when when you're actually just read George H. Smith I'll put all the links underneath I'm not going to talk anymore because uh, I'll probably just put myself into a hole if I do if I haven't already so uh, get, get back with me and uh, tell me how badly I did ciao